Hello everybody, my name is Mathis, and welcome back to some more Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Uh, hey, we're, we're still playing Kate, and the last episode was an interesting one, because we learned that in the basement of our safe house was zombies. And, uh, oh boy, were those zombies a problem. Kate is still coughing pretty badly, uh, because her lungs were filled with smoke. Uh, and we kind of have to just, like, let her try and catch her breath every so often. I don't know how long it takes for smoke to go away on its own, if it ever does. Okay, it's gone. Cool. <laughs> okay, that's that. All right, so the other thing I want to do is kind of like figure out and make sure I'm not over encumbering myself to the point of missing constantly. So I'm still a little confused on how encumbrance work and, and people in the comment section are trying to explain it to me, but I'm a thick, uh, a very thick person and it doesn't make sense uh, to the point where like I'm a little frustrated, I guess, um, with the game because like it doesn't do much for me. Uh, however, I'm trying to figure it out. Um, fuck. I'm trying to see if there's something I can do that that would make it make sense to me. And I just don't know what that would be. Uh, I'm trying to see. Hang on. I did actually open up a tab uh, that says, that helps explain it a little bit. So, let's see. A is the number of items you have that are causing layer penalties on that body part. Uh, that is nothing. I have nothing causing layering body parts. A in parentheses. Okay. Um, B, which is the next number. Sum of base encumbrance of all items on that body part. So wait. If A, which is the first number, uh, is the number of items that, ha uh, that you have that are causing layer penalties on that body part... I have zero, so no, nothing on my body is is causing layer penalties. But B, which is a second number, is a sum of base encumbrance of all items on that body part. So, for instance, on my arms, I've got 25 encumbrance from whatever I'm wearing, I guess. Um, C, which is the plus the plus number, is sum of encumbrance from layer penalties and mutations on that body part. Okay, got it. D equals D E. Well, there's no D or E. There's just one more number. Total encumbrance on that body part. Uh, I don't see a D. And then E is the warmth on that body part, which is not much on my hands. So why am I missing so much if I have like little to no encumbrance happening? I was missing a lot and that's confusing, but I guess we'll just see what happens. So I am going to make my way, I think, over to the mansion. People have said the mansion is not a bad idea. Uh, for a number of reasons. Um, but for the most part, it's actually got good loot. If you can deal with the zombies that are inside. Which doesn't surprise me that there are going to be zombies on the inside. Let's go here. I just want to kind of line myself up. Uh, and then we'll just go across. And there's a spotted dog. We spotted a dog. And it is a dog. And then we've got a bunch of coyotes all over here. The dog is currently tracking. And we've got some possums all along that see me, but they're ignoring me because they're, they're freaking possums. So I'm going to leave that alone. Yeah, and all dogs usually travel in packs. That is a large number of dogs. Dogs are all tracking. Coyotes are ignoring me oddly. So, like, it didn't even warn me about the coyotes, which tells me that the coyotes are, are neutral. Wow, look at all of those freaking dogs. I'm going to try and go around them. Dog, 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 coyote, coyote, coyote. The fox sees me but is ignoring me. I wonder if I can just go around them and not deal with them. I'm going to try. Looks like it. And then there's a bunch of birds and animals just kind of running from me. Um, let's head over here. That's a big old boulder. My head is feeling quite cold and here's the mansion. All right, we made it. Actually, I can't see my timer again. Hang on. There we go. I've got my timer up this time. My bad fam. All right, here's the mansion. How interesting. So apparently you can potentially just crack open the mansion with a crowbar. I just don't know how to do that. 
I'm holding the crowbar. Well, I guess we don't really need to worry about that because the zombies are going to do their own thing. There he goes. He smashed it. I'm going to back up. Now I'm faster than zombies are. Yep, there's three of them. I'm going to hope I might be able to manage them on my own. I, I'm a little nervous going into this. I spotted a zombie. How many zombies are around me? One, two, three. And there's a moose as well, which is ignoring me, which is good. However, I'm just going to back up. And maybe I can get away from them. And, like, if I could bring them to another animal, that's a snake, then maybe I can make that work. Nah, it doesn't look like it's going to work. So I'm going to see if I can get him into the bush. We'll back up. And then I'm going to smack and run. Smack and run. Oh, I don't have a ranged weapon. Smack. Smack. He bit my head for seven damage. I'm I'm stuck. He bit me. He grabbed me. So I gotta fight now. I gotta fight. I gotta fight. Spotted a coyote. Great. Come on. One down. Here comes the coyote. It's probably coming to fight me or the zombie. Smash it. Uh, stop smashing. Yes. Okay. The coyote's now fighting me. I can't see. Why can't I see? You're blinded. The coyote hits your eyes. Oh, shit. There we go. Okay, I can now see again. Jesus. Smash, 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 smash. Actually, let's go ahead and butcher this. Oh, I don't have a butchering tool. Alright, that sucked. Uh, three zombies and a fucking coyote decided to fuck me up. Um, let's see. Pulp zombie corpse. Rollerblades. A dress pair of sneakers and a long sleeve shirt and the dog is coming after me yeah it's coming after me none of these have like great things so I've got the dog there and a coyote there the dog is I don't know what it's chasing but the coyote is coming after me and we actually spotted another dog how are we going to make this work? I'm going to have to fight this coyote. He's faster than me. Is he going to run off because I beat him? This I beat him like so bad he ran off. The dog is attacking the rattlesnake. I might just need to go back home and, and just rest. I have no butchering tool, which sucks. I need to get a butchering tool. Let's just go back. I think it's a mistake to, to stay out further. We can always come back. Kate ran up, discovered some problems, and uh, ended up causing herself more problems. The dogs are now chasing me, it seems. I, I might be dead, man. Because Kate is missing a lot. Where did that guy come from? <sighs> if I lose my leg. And she's missing. Alright. God, we're in a bad spot. So Kate just got beat to hell. She's in pain, she's thirsty, she's cold, she's unhappy, uh, she's chilly all over the place, and uh, she's just not in a good spot. Fuck! That was awful. That was probably one of the worst starts I've had, on and off camera. That was absolutely terrible. Let's go downstairs and let's see if this, I have a bandage. I don't know if this, that it's gonna help, but I'm gonna grab the bandage. I thought I that 
Okay, grab the bandage. Can I activate the bandage? Uh, it will help a little bit. Okay, what the fuck just happened? I activated the bandage, I think. Uh, we want to go right leg and left leg. So we're going to bandage up our right leg. And we're going to go ahead and bandage up our left leg. And the med kit, or first aid kit... Why don't we use that on our head? So, Kate, in her excursion towards Hope, at least Hope in her mind, uh, the mansion, ended up encountering, obviously, three zombies right away. They smashed their way through, they were hungry, and they did not care. In the process, however, she also got herself effed up by them. Mm, we have a wrap, paper wrapper of cheeseburgers. Let's go ahead and eat that. And because of that, she uh, she started like, you know what? I'm going to head home. I, I'm, I'll deal with the wounds and I'll go back tomorrow. But because that there was wildlife all over the place, the coyotes were and are opportunistic little assholes and decided to try and make that work and uh, kind of do her own thing. Um, and, and, and go in and, and try and fight and eat the, the leftovers, trying and eat the zombie bodies or, or and, and finish off Kate in hopes of, of getting a, some free and easy food. Kate beat up one of them, ran away from the rest, barely got away without her legs being mangled beyond recognition, and now sits at home in pain. Now, I, she has to, she's performed a little bit of first aid on herself and absolutely must try and make this work. The thing is, she has no water. Um, she just has her her lamp oil. Uh, and that's it. No water at all. So, with this lamp oil, <laughs> I'm going to unload it and just dump it. Pour it onto the ground. We're just going to get rid of it. This shelter, how they lived here, I don't know. Because this shelter has no water source at all. And I have no bottle of water anywhere. I'm looking right now to see if there's like I left a bottle of water somewhere. Uh, I did not. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take the stick. Never mind. No, I'm not. I want a butcher, basically. But we've got cheeseburgers to last us for now. Um... Force unarmed. What is this? Oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to craft something. I wanted to try and, and, and wait past some time. I just don't know. Is it this? No, that's not the command. I don't know what the, the past time thing is. Because I just want to heal up if I can. But there's really not much we can do. Can I... How's How bad is our clothing right now? If I wanted to, like mend this right here. Can I? Mend. Does it have any faults to mend? Yeah, I, it does. <laughs> Game. It has a lot of faults to mend. We might want to try and head north. And just enter the house. So, the, the benefit of this is that if we have actually run across something, we have a forest to protect us. That's a dog, and that's a bear. And the bear is all messed up. There's a lot of turkeys around it. But the dog... The dog is hunting right now. Is that a, the bear? The bear sees me. I gotta run. Oh, fuck me, man. The bear was hunting. Oh my god, look how fast it is. I'm dead. If a bear gets me... Yes, hello, I spotted the bear. Thank you. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. We got it. We got to try and, f and end it. This is severely injured. It, the American black bear, a large, powerful, omnivorous scavenger. It has powerful claws and jaws and is effective ambush hunter. It can pose a considerable threat, although most individuals are shy. Yeah, except, you know, when it decides to beat me up. Thank you, wildlife. Oh, I smacked it once and it ran off. Good, good, good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and get up into the forest then. Look at this. This is food right there. It, it, it killed something for food, and then ignored the fact that it got itself food. You're a dick. 
I spotted a cougar. And it sees me. Great. I don't know what to do. A zombie dog. Bear, zombie dog, it's way up there. It does not see me. What are you doing, Mathis? Trying desperately, so desperately, to get up to this damn house. Oh, fuck. Jesus! Ah, whoa, 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 where'd it come from? It has jumping capabilities. I'm just trying to get into the fucking house. Okay, I hit it. Maybe it'll run now. Like, it, it, I'm getting attacked without realizing I'm getting attacked. Where's the door, man? Run. I died? I fucking died. Well, Kate, okay, you did a great job. Here comes the bear to just eat my body as it always as it does, I guess. Cool, guys. Well, that's Kate's story. That was awful. That was awful. That was the worst start I've ever had playing this game, including the very first time I fucking played it. Wow. Well, I'm going to pick up the next episode and maybe just try playing Kate again in the same world. Um and we'll just continue Kate's story. Kate had a twin. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, and we'll give it a shot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry for a short episode, but this is where Kate dies. I'll see you next time. Eaten by wildlife. Bye-bye.